I'm Richard Gordon, the author and founder of Quantum Touch with my friend Enzo here. And I'm so excited to tell you about the new Quantum Touch pendant. This is the latest discovery in a series of discoveries over the last 40 years with Quantum Touch. I discovered that there is a very clear way that you can put your energy and intention into physical objects. All objects hold energy and intention equally whether it's a piece of paper, plastic, rubber, metal, uh, pebble, you name it. It's all made out of God stuff. So this 40 year process, 40 plus years actually, that I've been doing this work has culminated into this, the Quantum Touch Pendant. Now, I ran 58 separate experiments to understand the intersection of matter and consciousness. It astounded me. I kept making I kept trying new tests and finding out new things and I, I eventually discovered that there is this thing called conscious entanglement. That means that if you group a, a bunch of objects or people together in your mind, anything you do to any one of them will happen to the entire group. So in the making of these pendants, what I did was I grouped all of them together in my mind so that any of our practitioners and instructors or friends of Quantum Touch who have been doing energy healing work, who put their energy into their pendant, it's affecting the entire group of them. And that's one of the reasons these things, we have a hard time keeping them on the shelf right now because we're hearing so many incredible stories of what's going on. Now, one question that people ask is, are these gonna lose their charge? Well, the answer is clearly no. First off, when I was running my experiments, uh, I did it over about a 10 month period of time and things that I charged 10 months ago were still holding the charge. But much more important to th than that is with hundreds and soon thousands of people running their best energy into their pendant every day or every few days, Every morning when you wake up, your pendant is going to be stronger than it was the day before. So that will hold the charge. Another question that comes up is, what if somebody puts their, their pain and their self-pity and their depression into the pendant? It's irrelevant. The love is a thousand times stronger than the pain is. And as you focus with intent on the pendant, it enlivens it and it gives back to you what your intent is. One of the discoveries I made toward the very end was I was handing people objects before, but I had the intent of measuring them to see if it was untwisting the occipital and pelvic torsion of their hips. And it was working. But when I had these pendants and I'd hand it to somebody, I wasn't holding the intent of it untwisting somebody and they weren't getting aligned. So what I found was that if I simply have the intent for it to work, I can tap somebody with the pendant for a split second and it instantly untwists a lifelong occipital torsion, which is considered physiologically impossible, and it untwists the hips like that. It just happens immediately. So this is one of the things about it. But with a group of people, hundreds or thousands of people putting their love into this on a daily basis, who knows what kinds of healing are possible. Now, I just came back from a retreat conference in Mexico. We were in Cancun and I was demonstrating these pendants a lot and having a tremendous amount of fun with that. And on the last evening, a man said to me, he said, you know, I've had my right sinus closed down for the last uh, decades. And I said, well, here's two pendants, put them on both sides of your nose. And he did. And within four or five minutes, he could breathe through the right sinus. I was like as surprised as anybody. And a couple, a few people were watching this. And one woman said, well, I have jaw pain. So, okay, take the pendants and put them on your jaw. So she did this. And four or five minutes later, her jaw, she's opening her jaw and it opened up her jaw. Another woman said, I have jaw pain also, tightness and she opened up her jaw with it. And another woman said she had pain under her eyes and she put the pendants under her eyes and a few minutes later, her pain was gone. And I'm thinking to myself, I created these 
to hold high vibration. I had no idea that they would be doing some important healing sessions for people. So a question becomes, will these take the place of quantum touch sessions? And that's not going to be the case because practitioners are putting these on the people and running their own energy. The active energy is much stronger, but, but the energy and intent seems to be held by these pendants and they don't lose their charge. So this is something that is evolving. Uh, oh, a couple other story, quick stories come to mind and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. But, and by the way, there'll be a whole lot more videos made. I'm just kind of moving through this one quickly to get on with some other things I have to do soon. Um, one was a friend of mine, were uh, a friend of mine and I were taking a walk and in this walk, uh, he had stubbed his toe really badly in the morning. And after a couple miles, he said, I'm not sure I can keep walking. My toe hurts too much. And I said, well, take your pendant and put it on your toe. And he's really? Yeah. So he puts his pendant on his toe. And uh, a few minutes later, he says, I can walk now. It's 70% relieved. A couple minutes of walking. He said, I can't even feel my toe anymore. The last story was a call that I got from a friend and he said that he had sprained his finger really badly, his index finger, doing jujitsu. So um, he put the pendant on top of his finger because we had talked about this stuff and he held it there for about 20 minutes while he was watching some program. And at the end of it, he said that the finger felt about 70% better. In the morning, it was 100% better and he had expected this to be a problem for uh, a few weeks because it was pretty badly sprained. So the bottom line is we don't know the limits of what's possible. Our love has more impact than we know and we can actually put energy and intention into physical objects. So if you get your pendant and you know how to use quantum touch, tap into your deepest love, gratitude and healing energy infuse it with that. If you don't know how to run energy with quantum touch, just connect with those good feelings you know how to get to, take a few deep breaths, and then a few more deep breaths while you're just infusing that good feeling into your pendant. Engage your pendant, look at it, meditate on it, be involved with your pendant, send it energy whenever you want, and let's just create this amazing community of people raising their vibration higher and higher and higher with their quantum touch pendants. Thank you so much. And I look forward to hearing your reports, your stories, your discoveries, and everything else you come up with because this is an ongoing process and we're all learning about it.